Good afternoon from Little Creek Bee Ranch. We have uh, an issue, and I thought this would be a good time to teach and share some tips. What you're looking at is a homemade uh, queen mating box. Uh, if you look, if you follow along our videos, you saw us uh, talk about these earlier, but we have had um, an epiphany. <laughs> an epiphany. You see a little bit of a change here. And uh, there's a little tiny inner cover. But what what was our issue? We've had to make a correction. When you when you have little colonies of bees, we'll just take this one, this box. Little colonies of bees. These are mating boxes that are going to be used for mating for getting queens mated. They're real small. The box is meant to be small, so that uh, you can easily find the queen. So we pull out the frames. There's just four little mating frames and a lid. Oh, let's set the lid and the frames up here. And it's uh, it's a small cavity, but the problem is heat. And little colonies. This is just a cotton plug. Little colonies can't cool themselves well. They tend to have meltdowns. They can die easily. So when I was making these up. I uh, put a solid bottom on it, and that uh, was a mistake. I could probably, I made 40 of these. I could probably save some of them for fall time with a solid bottom. But we're going to take a number of them, and we're going to take off this bottom. And the bottom, <laughs> the bottom has been glued and stapled in. So uh, what I had been doing with some of these others is just to tap out the bottom. See if I can do it without busting it all apart. There we go. Now, the bottom's intact. And what has happened is we've improved upon what we've done because this bottom will now be a little inner cover. It won't be permanently attached. It'll be just an inner cover. And then the lid on. See that? So... What we're doing is cleaning up this bottom right here. And rather than uh, pull out all the little staples, if you'll forgive me a minute, I'm going to just tap these in. Okay, now, rather than fight and wrestle with all this stuff and pull off the stables, they just smooth it out. Not a problem. And now we want a bottom. We want a bottom on there. So this is a screen that's been pre-cut. I think i got to trim it. So let's see. Yeah, i got to trim a little bit. So I'm just simply measuring out my screen on the side. Getting this, getting it squared up with a marker measuring it oops nothing fancy ugh uh, you know this is one of those things where you wonder what was I thinking <laughs> what was I thinking and it's super hot outside uh, I've got a few little colonies out there right now I'm kind of worried about it's hot they don't do well Little colonies have a hard time cooling. Okay, so we're going to just do it this way. Gosh. But worth doing. Worth doing. Okay, so we're just going to T44 stapler. I think that's what it is. Whatever. Nothing. We're just going to staple it down. Ah. Some good staples. There. Okay, come on now. <laughs> Little corrections like this can make a big deal. It just can mean everything. Nobody wants bees dying. You get, I get calls often, people asking me, I did this and this and this and they died. Ugh. Every situation is different. 
you got to really think through what you're doing with the bees because they don't always do well with everything that we do. Okay, so... Gosh. Correcting, you know. Okay. Okay, make sure... Damn. Airflow, 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 airflow. It's a big, big deal. Right, now, all these little pokey edges on the side. I just, I can't really, not enough to cut. So I just bend them in. I know you can buy mating boxes at Man Lake and Day Dent and Brushy, whatever. But we made this was several years ago. Always improving. Made our own. But the solid, geez, I was, I don't know what I had a brain, brain fart there. Okay. Now, see these little legs? The problem we have is that now that we have a screen, it makes no sense to set it on the table or brick or board or whatever, well that defeats the purpose of the screen, right? <laughs> so, we just, you know, thinking about how we can get some legs on there to get it up. And I already had a whole stack of, oh, you know, these are, you know what these are? Those are uh, shower molding corners. We got a little L in there and a channel, no big deal. I don't know, on discount at uh, Lowe's, they're getting rid of a whole bunch of them. They were super cheap. I bought a ton of them. Cut them up. Okay, but these are also for the rails on the bottom board, you know. you got a rail system. But I cut that extra piece off down there. Anyway, well, so so what we did was turn it over to the side and just ran it up there and cut it off. Now we have legs, see. Oh, I thought that was pretty cool. It's not heavy weight, you know, you're not dealing with a full-size colony, so it's not major weight concern, but it is an airflow concern. We want airflow underneath. So, I did this. Yeah, where's... Have to this way, sorry. Five and a quarter. Okay, whatever. Five and a quarter. have to be perfect. <laughs> cutting, cutting is the hardest part. Oops. It's all right. Okay. Uh, correction. But if it saves bees, that's a big deal. We'll get there. So... And about the same size. You know. Well, I hope the videos and films are helping someone, man, because it's times like this when they have problems and you're trying to get stuff solved. It's like, ugh. It's too hot to be opening bees up. I know some people are working them, not me, man. You open up a beehive right now, and all that smell, that honey comes out, and man, it hits the air. And you talk about attention, you'll have raiding going on, so I get kind of concerned about that. It's going to cool off here in a day or so. Okay, so, let's see. Got to decide, you know how, I don't know how high, how high off the ground do you want it. I don't want it too terrible high. Inch and a half, that's what it looks like. Right there, half, inch and a half. So, what do you do? Wara, wara. Let's see if I can do this. Inch and a half. That'll work. Something cheap and easy, man. It just, you know, has to function. You gotta be fancy. Pragmatist. Just gotta work. Alright. Pulling the plastic on. 
Here, that'll work. Okay, do the next one. Inch and a half. Oops. Oh, that might be an issue. <laughs> so you never know. You just never know. Great. See, because I, because this porch here didn't come all the way out. Now this one did. Now, now we have an issue. Now what to do? It's okay. Watch this. Always, always another way to skin a cat. Yeah. Cut it right there. Put it right there. Okay, maybe. Did you cut? Make room for me. Oh. <laughs> I tell you what. You know, you get to see a full-time beekeeper flop and flounder here. That's how you learn, though. Ugh. Come on. We really want you to work here. Okay. So, now yeah, what I'm going to do is staple down there and a staple right there and a staple right there and a staple right there. Okay, and then I'm going to do a staple right there. Nah. <laughs> oh my heavens. Okay. Now the other side. So Well, I hope your bee season's going good. Horse has been weird. For May we got over seventeen inches of rain for Oklahoma is crazy nuts. You never see that. B stayed at home. Didn't put on as much honey. I've yet to see what we really have outside, so we'll see what the bees have done later. Caught a swarm yesterday. I was working hilltop apiary and I was actually cutting grass under the hives. And all of a sudden bees showed up right at my head level. I thought I had spooked them out of a hive, but they came from behind me, probably from the barn apiary. Somebody swarmed, which is very weird, <laughs> late August and being as hot as it is. Okay. Inch and a half. Inch and a half. And yes, I did catch them back. Little group, softball size, but you know, hey, catch them back, man. All right, let's see what we got here. Inch and a half. Gosh. Let's see, was it better this way? If it be better that way, it would be better that way. Yeah. Okay. Come on. And if it rocks, yeah, whatever. I don't really want it to. Uh -huh. <laughs> and some of you are probably going, well, I wouldn't do that. I don't know. Let's see here, man. Something. I got a bunch of these medium, these little medium frames. I have two boxes full of them in some full-size hives, drawing them out, larvae and everything, and I want to get some queens set up in some of these boxes. But they have got they have got to be set up right. That's the deal. If they're not set up right, you're going to end up killing bees and you just be going backwards. Okay. Gosh, of course, you run out of staples. Right in the middle, whatever. Hey, this is how you learn right here, man. This is why we do what we do. Filming all the time. Good ones, good films. I hope they're good. 
Okay. Okay, now, that, uh, that way, that way I don't have to run around like a chicken with the head cut off looking for a stone or a board. Uh, could have used some scrap lumber and just put legs, but I got a lot of this plastic, and that plastic it's not going to rot her. So, so I thought, well, cool, okay, I'll do that, that'll work. And uh, we'll have these filled out later. We've got a lot of these, a lot of these little frames to get filled out. Again, we made 40 of these several years back, but we <laughs> keep on running into problems, make some modifications which really need to be done. So now the bottom. This was this was the bottom. We tapped it out, put our legs in. Now the bottom becomes an inner cover. <laughs> I think that's cool. I was going to toss this out, and I thought, wait a minute, I've got to have something, because otherwise they'll take the lid. I don't know, this is kind of, we made a little hole for bottle feeder, whatever. Now, that can slide on there. I'll be able to take this off easy enough, and then pry that up. That's no problem for little groups. But here's the bigger deal, is this... This area allows them to turn air, and on colder evenings, the solid top, the solid top, keeps them warm up top. And if I really want to give them some air, all I got to do is pull it back a touch. If there's plenty of bees to ventilate, and this lid can sit, sit so. Airflow, 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 as long as you've got uh, good airflow. Well, I thought that was worth showing. So, again, this was a bottom, really shouldn't have been put on, and we just tap it out, didn't bust it, didn't break it, set it aside, cut us some legs out of some shower molding, stapled them on. We got solid bottoms, or so solid screen now. Now they get plenty of air. Yes, they have a hole in the back, it's just not enough airflow. Now they'll have plenty of air. And then we take that bottom and keep it, set it to the side, and use it as an inner cover. Lid goes back on, we're ready to rock and roll. But, uh, and just got I think I'll do about 20 of them like that. They keep some of the other solid just for cold, fall time, make fall time queens. They need to be a little bit warmer. So, half and half, maybe 20 vented like this, and then the other 20 left solid. So, there, I thought that tip was worth showing you. Go to Lowe's or Home Depot and grab you a whole bunch of shower molding for rails and bottom boards or whatever. There, I hope that helps somebody. Have an awesome day. We'll see you. Stay cool.